this is Omar Hassan. You're watching Sports School. We're going to teach you the basics of bull riding. We're going to teach you how to carve, teach you carve grinding, and the basics of how to ride a real bull. When you're learning how to carve, I would say the backside carve is probably the easiest one to learn. And when I say backside, is when your back is towards the wall, towards the transition, towards the lip. You always want to take a nice, long, arcing carve. Hug the wall and ride it real horizontally and don't ever go too vertically up. Always start low and just give it a nice little pump to make sure you never go up too straight and kind of just work your way to the top. And you always want to make sure that you have loose enough trucks and that you use your front shoulder to really guide yourself. And it's all about that, hugging the corner and just bending your knees right, squatting and just arcing around it. Stay low and commit and always hold on to that pressure and just kind of carve through it, relax and just bend your knees and roll through. Basically, the backside carve should be the first carve that you're learning. Then you can move on to the front side carve. And the front side carve is when your chest is towards the transition or towards the coping. And it's a different kind of arc. The front side carve is a little more difficult because it almost makes it feel like you want to fall backwards into the ball. So you definitely want to squat low, keep your momentum kind of forward so if anything was to go wrong, you can kind of turn your left shoulder if you're regular footed or your right shoulder if you're goofy footed and try to take that momentum and twist around and turn in case you fall. So a front side turn, you want to stay crouched and hug the wall the same way, but it's all in your front shoulder, whichever stance that you are. And when you do a front side carve, you want to stay low and squat and just push through. As soon as you feel that feeling of getting kind of, ah, uh, 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 the worst thing you could do is fall backwards because that's how you're going to get hurt. You want to always hold on and definitely always follow through with the carve. One thing that you can always learn after you learn the carve is the actual carve grind. And that's when you just kind of carve up high enough, just enough to let your trucks kind of hit. You never want to carve too high though, because that's how your board flings out and you hit your shins on the coping and get hurt. Don't ever go too much more vertical, like I said, always horizontal and just let it kind of neck, neck, grind around there. Front side carve grind is a little more difficult just as is the front side carve. So with the front side carve grind, what you gotta do is even stay a little more squatted and you know crunch up and squat a little bit more than usual. And just try to relax when you hit feel yourself hit the coping, just relax with it and follow through. You just keep with it and just relax and try to push through with it, but don't over grind it. After you learn the carve grinds, that's when you start to step up to the stand-up grind. And the easiest one to learn, I would say, would be the backside 50-50. Start the beginning of the wall, stand on it before you get to the corner. Try to stand up on it as much as you can. Once you find your point that you're in the from the corner, you stand up and you let the corner just kind of grind for you. You actually pick up momentum without trying because the corner will just give you that momentum. So just relax, just a grinding axle stall with a carving feeling. With the 
Front side stand-up grind, it's a little different because when you're leaning in the bowl backside, you kind of can see where you're going and can see the depth perception of, you know, you can run out of things a little easier backside. Front side, you gotta be really careful when you go to do a grind because it's real easy to kind of banana peel out and zoom out back into the ball. So you wanna definitely make sure you got a proper stand-up front side grind because what you do is you just gotta practice a stand-up grind on a flat wall, stand-up grind on a flat wall. But the difference is with the corner, once you do the stand-up grind like you would on a flat wall, you have to use your shoulder to guide it around the corner. And basically that's what is so hard about the stand-up front side grind. Sometimes it makes you want to wash out, so don't get frustrated because it happens to everybody. Well, what we learned today is the basics of carving. And basically, we started with the backside carve, started with the front side carve, backside carve grind, front side carve grind, stand up grinds, backside 50 50s, and just try to learn basically each trick one by one. Like, as I told you, you start with the carve, then you do the carve grind, then you do the stand up grind, do little baby steps each way along the way. And this is where it all starts, especially if you want to learn the basics and you don't want to learn in the big stuff. You've got to start small, and this is where you start. Thanks for watching Sports School. This is Omar Hassan.